Hello creators, it's Melissa with Melissa's Creations here and today we're going to make this adorable card using the special reason bundle. I have this stamp set here along with the stylish stems frameless dies that bundle together with this set. You can get these in a bundle, save 10% off of the original prices. This is in the new occasions catalog and it is one of my most favorite sets so far. There are so many things that you can do with this bundle. I highly recommend it. But today we're going to make a variation of this falling leaves card. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love all of the colors and the texture from all the different leaves. I could just pet it all day seriously <laughs> all right let's get started so i already have my leaves mounted we are using both the large and small of each leaf here are the the veins of the leaf and then the full leaves here i have my happy birthday sentiment mounted because we are making a birthday card out of this the inks i'm using are tip top taupe along with old olive cajun craze always artichoke and crushed curry i have the woodland textured impressions embossing folder for our card base and a few pieces of cardstock this is soft suede it is eight and a half by five and a half scored in the middle at four and a quarter this is very vanilla to do our leaves just a regular half sheet of cardstock and then I have a piece of Tip Top Taupe and Whisper White for our banner. All right, we're gonna get started with some stamping. So I'm going to start off with Always Artichoke and I'm going to ink up all four of those leaves at one time. And I'm gonna stamp that off up into the left, full ink. And then I'm going to do a second generation ink. So I'm just gonna huff on my block and then stamp again. And we do this because it gives us a lighter image. So we have more color ranges to choose from. Now into crushed curry. Just make sure that you wash off your stamps after each ink change so that you can be sure you are not getting your ink pads icky. our happy birthday sentiment with tip top tote and just stamp it right in the middle we're gonna do a banner cut all right now it is big shot time so I have the new platform here the big shot platform and it also comes with the thin die adapter and one cutting plate here put it on your cardstock and now we can grab out our dies and we are using this leaf, this leaf, just those two, and start cutting away. Once you have all of your leaves cut, now we can take off the thin die adapter so that all we have is the Big Shot platform. You're going to put down one cutting pad, grab your embossing folder and your card front. Make sure that you crease your card front because we're going to fold it into the folder. So this has the Stampin' Up! logo on the top. That is the side that I'm going to do my embossing on. The front of the card is inside the folder and we can put that in and shut that now it looks like it's going right way so we're gonna run it through this way and it is an exact fit so make sure that when you sandwich your other cutting plate on top you have flush edges here and there's no little pieces of your folder sticking out too far or else it will get caught up on the machine so we can run that through it will be a tight squeeze, but it will work. Whew. And when you're done, ta-da! All right, we have all of our pieces now, so we can start assembling. I'm going to grab some adhesives 
You will definitely want your mini glue dots for the leaves. And here we have some snail adhesive for our sentiment. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my banner cut on my sentiment, grab my stips and cut from corner to middle, just like this. Okay, put some adhesive on the back of that. Put it onto a scrap of cardstock. This is tip top taupe. And now I can cut my banner edges out of that. And then hand cut the rest of the banner. Time to get our leaves on our card. This is the fun part. So let's get some mini glue dots on the back of our banner. And we're gonna put that up in the left corner. And now for the leaves. Now you can do this however you'd like. Just basically to get started, pick one up. And we're gonna do this one. Put a glue dot on the back. Start in the upper left. Make sure that you don't cover up your sentiment like I just did. Let's start a little bit lower. Right there. And have a heyday. And there it is, our falling leaf card with the gorgeous special reason bundle. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this card. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. If you'd like to see more projects from me, head over to my website, melissascreations.com. You can also follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mcreations. Don't forget right now is celebration every $50 before shipping and tax that you spend in current catalog products. You will receive one free item from the celebration flyer. Make sure you check that out if you haven't already to see what awesome, awesome things that you can get right now while this is happening. If you'd like to join my team, there's a great deal on joining and if you want to to host a party. I can do that too, virtual or in person if you're local to me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, guys.